they still cannot believe that they have traveled to the national capital. And Andrea has been successful in instilling a great belief in the girls. It's back to the fort, the top at night. Sometimes when the electricity is not there, she has candles and have a train to catch. Every girl boards the train carefully. Some are sitting on a train for the first time, but there is excitement. And to, you know, to adjust them to the modern life of this country so they can later on concentrate on their sports. Against the Jaipur girls. The city girls were taller and more confident. Even skills were better, but that didn't bother Andrea too much. They win or lose. At the beginning, we just need practice. And you've seen Chandu, he was more or less freaking out because they are much more taller. But you know, we have most of our girls, many, many age groups. So that's fine. Their exposure was really fine. They have to adjust themselves and they have to find a team together, so that was fine. Actually, I choose them by character. Different, different characters, so that's, that's how I choose. Um, I mean, I can't uh, provide any nutrition provided, so that it's maybe something different than just Chupati and Dal. You, you've seen the, the Jaipur girls, of course, they are, some of, are of the same. Seeing their kids play outside the village in big cities, the parents are happy and getting confident about Andrea's plans. और बच्चों को इम्प्रूवमेंट किया है तब से आसपास के क्षेत्रों में भी लोगों विदेशी the real challenges for Andrea and the village begin now. Yeah, when we used to think, uh, that was the number one point, how to fund, raise the funds. Now, since the micro levels have come... The state of Rajasthan doesn't have an artificial pitch. It's ambitious. But looking at the determination of Andrea, the volunteers and the villagers, it's not merely a pipe dream. It's an achievement. If we want to compete in the future with national and international level, we desperately need a bigger, bigger ground. So this year, and, uh, I learned so much. I got so many good friends and connections. So I want to give this back to these kids here. And um, I'm happy that we found this place. And mm -hmm. Kar Himmat Singh of the village of courage and determination is open. Louder, it's his birthday. Hockey. Hockey is our national sport. It is in our blood. Given from Germany, Andrew, who left everything and came over here. Hockey is our national sport. It is in our blood. Mahima Chaudhary, our Bollywood celebrities, are one of the million people in our hearts who respect our national sport, our national game. But I was amazed to see this woman from Germany, Andrea, who left how to play hockey. I mean, it's very difficult. Yes, sir. This documentary has been directed by Bhavita, and she's done it. Someone from far off Germany has come to India to revive this sport and is taking so much interest and is training our little children here. It's a beautiful story. Big round of applause, please. Bhavita and Andrea, congratulations for a wonderful effort in popularizing. Sandeep Singh. Okay, now I would like to request my pretty co-host Sonam to come back on stage. I feel incomplete all of a sudden. Hockey is my life. Well, 
a brief description about that would be it's it's a range of hockeys which are being produced maybe according to your height, according to your needs, according to your position. You're a forward, you're a back, you're a midfielder, you're a describe the stadium. Yeah, even kids play with adult sticks, heavy sticks, big long sticks. Yeah, so produce or distribute kid sticks for me. And then I said, okay, if it's not available, I will do it. And um, so we said, I mean, my target is years to go until they are ready to work. So this is the time where I can build up a hobby with me. And um, yeah, holy means hockey is my life, which is of course the subject of the village. An initiative that she's taken. Also now, we come to our hero, Sandeep Singh Ji. You guys are proud of us. We are trying to take a look at hockey again, especially from the small towns, from the small villages. So we also need to be like the hockey players. Thank you, Sandeep. Thank you, Andra. Sandeep, after joining Sabal, one question. No courage to see you. So, you can see who you are. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sandeep. Thank you very much. And then, you can see your name. Thank you very much. A very happy birthday to you. Good places. Actually, I was able to celebrate. Sandeep, from me and from the whole country, Jine Aapne proud kya hai, a very happy birthday. Big round of applause, please. Well, I'll hold this for you. To you, happy birthday to you. That's, that's good luck. That's a good omen, actually. Spinning of the cake. Thank you, with us. Thank you very much, Andrea. We will have you back shortly. So, Vineet, we have our two wings to our national sport, and I hope hum sab jo aaj yaha ek aur bahut hi important hasti hamare chief guest. I would like to thank you, Member of the State Legislative Assembly. Sir, uh, I would like you to please come up on stage and say a few words. Please, sir. a big round of applause. बधाई के पात्र हैं। इस आयोजन के आयोजक करता नानीजी संदीप गुप्ता जी, फिल्म डायरेक्टर आकर के उससे ये साबित होता है कि करने की सोच हो, हिम्मत हो, तो फिर सब कुछ किया जा सकता है। और ये उन्होंने साबित किया है। पूरी टीम को बहुत बहुत मुबारक बाद और बधाई देता हूँ मिलकर के इस आयोजन में शामिल होने का मौका मिला और संदीप को एक अवसर मिला इसके लिए मैं उनका विशेष तौर पर आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद that very very inspirational speech. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, members of uh, Delhi Wizards, which include Mr. Rashtar Singh Ferreira and Philippe for being here tonight. To call the man who's made a lot of things possible for the Indian hockey team. We are finally in contention for the Olympics. And of course, like Sandeep, uh, is it because of the team that you're so optimistic and positive, or is it just the way you are? Probably a little bit of both. I mean, we've got an incredibly talented bunch of players and as you see said it feels straight than yesterday but it's untapped and, uh, and it's my job to try and help uh, put India back where it, it should be. I've been touched by what she's done in the board village in Rajasthan. I probably haven't heard of that. Look I feel really humble seeing them. Okay. You've done an amazing job, an amazing that you've been able to give them and the hope that you've been able to give them is uh, just you know, I don't know what to say. You know, just one of the most amazing people I've ever met. To leave your own country to to come here and give your life to that. You, know, you should be very proud of yourself. 
other that came straight from the heart. And uh, prize award through Mr. Michael Knobs. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the woman who captured this on satellite. And she is the lady who has been instrumental for bringing in this story today in front of all of us and this memento from our side for you and your efforts, Babita. Keep that applause coming, please. Keep that applause coming. Thanks, Rosa Maria I would like to talk to you. So, Babita is the proud director of Winds of Change, and let me ask her that when was the first time she met Andrea, how she got to know about this whole initiative and how did you actually plan to take it up and make a movie, bring it up? It was um, through a newspaper, I would say, a very small and deep personal newspaper. Yeah. So I read a very small clip of hers, uh, teaching uh, hockey and English to these people. So first we did our homework and then went back to her again and then how it all started. She has <laughs> I remember when we were shooting there one night, I actually felt sick. Yeah. Uh, imagine, imagine that. And I was actually taken to the hospital and you know, she was very scared. Loved it there, of course. She made it so comfortable and everything. Like it